Morning chillins, painters and decorators of the interweb, it's Phil Beckwith, back with a follow up, you know what I'm like with follow ups, do you remember about, I'm going to say 5-6 weeks ago, I did the Aquatech from Colourbond, painting new PVC, remember my samples, can you remember, well I'm back. If you're interested in looking at a review on scratch testing, this is the video you want. So I'm going to say, see in a few seconds, because I'm going to do a little intro, and then we'll be back with it. So see in a few seconds, and let's get on with it. Okie dokie, do you like my little intro that I've got now? Yeah, oh yeah, YouTube's getting great, isn't it? Shame nobody's paying me for anything. Not got that Porsche yet. Can't even um, go and have a look at Porsches because they need to credit check you before you even go into that showroom. Well, that's what I've been told anyway. Anyway, enough of that. About five, six weeks ago, we did spraying of the Colourbond Aquatech water-based on some, well, they were brand new UPVC um, section, transom panels, whatever you want to call them. Uh, did a brush one, did a spray one. Spray one was HVLP. I wanted to see what they were like. Me, you know what I'm like. Speak without thinking. Yeah, we know all about that. I'm not too keen on the water-based products going onto UPVC. I like the Colour Bond that's the spirity, cellulose based. Spray it on, dries within a few seconds. Within five minutes, you can be recoating it. This stuff, the Colour Bond Aquatech water based, yeah, it's dry within 20 minutes, obviously, weather conditions permitting. You can brush it on. Ideal for the person who wants to um, brush it because they haven't got the spray equipment. Fair enough. If you're a, a painter and decorator that doesn't do any spraying, this is the product for you. If you're a home DIYer that wants to do a bit of UPVC painting, you might find it a bit tricky if you're not into brush work and stuff like that but I've done it I've done spray and I've done a brush and we're going to see what it's like for a scratch test because that's what we're all wanting to know what it's like is it hard can I really give it a good scratch are we expecting it to come off I'm going to say I'm expecting it to come off so if you don't want to uh, watch any more of the video because you know I'm like for 15 20 minute videos I'm going to say I bet it's going to come off on me because I'm going to make it come off on me well, what do you expect? We've got to have a good go at it. The previous videos, you remember this one? If you look back, we did a French chic, we did a bed -ec, and let me move across, that was an old coat. Forget the colours, this was a test on a panel like that, properly cleaned down, like I've cleaned down the other ones, but forget the colours, it was a test on what it was like the scratch testing that's been a well received video I must say again I think it's generated me 0 0.005 of a pence we'll get there but joking apart it was a good scratch test really impressed with the French chic Bedek came out on top but a close first and second not really much in it Bedek really impressed with. I'd actually say the finish of the French Chic's a lot better. Brush marks now, but Bedek came out on top. Bit disappointed with the um, all coat Zindral all coat exterior. So that was a good test on that. Now I'm testing a professional paint product, which is you get this one here, which is the. You see, yeah, you've got me in the camera. This was the spray finish of the Colour Bond. Now, say five, six weeks, I said at the time, I didn't thin it and I should have probably put a spot of water in it just to help it flow out. If I'm looking at it now, it looks, a, I'm not say camera finished, it don't, don't get me wrong, it's not an orange peel finish. And to the untrained eye, 
that's good coverage but for me I can just see it if I catch the light I've got a spotlight in the corner highlighting me if I just catch the light across it I don't know whether I can get you on it it's I'm not I don't want to say pimply it's got a little bit of a texture now if we'd have put a spot of water in it thinned it down slightly sprayed it um, a bit well I'm not saying a bit better but you know what I mean sprayed it with a bit thick thinner with a wet coat that would have flowed out now when I did it the weather wasn't too bad it wasn't red hot it wasn't too cold and I did thin the paint um, trying to keep it to room temperature but we're outside that that's not bad I preferred it sprayed it looked quite good sprayed you can see it there get you close I don't know whether I can get you can you see that yeah you can just see it now I preferred it sprayed than brushed Doris the door with me I'm in the studio today I'm going to call it a studio I'm not saying anything at the minute right. this was the brush finish now if we can get you in on that can you see that this is what I'd expect from a brush finish you'd have a little bit of a brush mark to it can I get you on the camera with that a little bit of a brush mark finish to it I don't know whether you can see it. Can you just see that? Now, how many coats did we give it? Three? Three or four? Can't remember now. I'll have to look back on the video. But I preferred it sprayed than brushed. Now, it needed an extra coat. It had to have it. Now, if time's money, you don't want to be brushing this. You'd be better spraying it. But if you've got the time and you can allow for it on the job and you are going to give it four coats, I'd say it's a really good product for that. Now I'm going to say is it a really good product for actually standing up against the stretch test. If this is on a window of a house, it's probably not going to get much damage to it other than the window cleaner coming around with his, well you know that brushless brush banging up against it or somebody putting a ladder against it if they need to get to gutters cleaning gutters out so it's to be fair we're going to give it extreme testing because i'm going to get a coin i'm going to get a screwdriver and i'm going to get a key and i'm really going to give it a good scratch i'll start low hard medium you know I'll do it like i do it properly so that's where we are which one should we start with let's start with the spray finished one right Talk amongst yourselves while I just set up. Alright, can you see me? I'm going to drop the camera down. You might lose me, which probably that won't bother you too much. I'm going to drop the camera down. Right. I'm going to zoom in. Oh, that's not bad, is it? That's not bad. Let's get you focusing on that. That's not bad because you're going to see. Yeah, let's keep it that. Let's keep it that because you've got you got the spray, oh, let's get you there, you got the spray one on the top and you've got the brush one on the bottom, so we've got the two. Right. <laughs> mother, can you see me mother? Screwdriver, ordinary, you see, Phillips sharp end, Phillips screwdriver. We're in the UK, I've got one of the Queen's, Queen's head, that's, that's a one pound coin right one pound coin back in the day used to do a paper round seven days a week pound a day took me just over an hour pound a day right we've just got some keys i've got like a yale you know what a yale lock is key there can you see that yeah and then uh what, what do you call them a lever lock bolt so let's try all that Can you get me? Um, do you know what? I don't know whether you can see me well enough. Are we better like that? Yeah. I'm not ready to employ a cameraman just yet. Have you got me? Come on. Yes! Do you know what? I'm going to take you off camera. See, still in my garage it's not a studio but it looks like a studio I've got a backdrop 
Right, if you guys, guys and girls can just bear with me. Can you remember when I sprayed Doris the door? That half was done with a Colour Bond Aquatech water base. Sprayed lovely and that went for one coat. Really impressed with that, look at that. That's nice, that's not orange peely. That's gone on lovely. So here we are, I'm gonna flip that across. Oh, brilliant. So here we are, look. Let's move me that door out of the way. Spray finish, brush finish. Let's start with a screwdriver. There's a screwdriver in. Now, get you a bit more light there. That's the sharp end. Not pressing too hard. Not pressing too hard. Let me see any marks. See some marks. You see the finish there, it's a little bit splattery. Well, I'll say splattery. So it could have done with a bit more liquid in it to make it flow. Right. Let's come off with my nail. Oh, here we go. Right. I've gone quiet. Let's go with the coin, pound coin. Gone even quieter. This was the spray finish key. I've gone very quiet. I didn't expect it to come off as easy as that. And you know, I prepped this properly. This was prepped with all the Colour Bond cleaning solutions as well. Look at this. come straight off that was the spray finish we're coming on to the brush finish I think we know what the outcome is you could strip that couldn't you that was the screwdriver Let's go back to a key key let's get the Queen's head it's not a pub it's a coin, a pound coin. Right, that's all on the flat, right. Same there, same there. I feel sick to say that it's failed. Now, I know this is extreme sharp coins, sharp keys, sharp screwdriver, but this is why I do these tests for you. I'm not saying the Colour Bond Aquatech isn't fit for purpose because it's gone on lovely there. And if I get Doris the door, I can just scratch it off. But that, don't forget, we've got other underlying paints. I'm probably scratching off down to all the paints, right? That's probably all the paints coming off more than the Aquatech. Let's just have a look at that. That was. That was Hague Blue. Was that Farrow and Ball we did? This is a sharp end of a screwdriver. That's not really moving, look, is it? If you remember when I did this painting of the door, I did it Bedek, the MSP. Right. Let's get back to this. I don't want to say not fit for purpose, because if we had got windows that weren't being scratched with a coin it's not going to come off if you're not touching it's not going to come off but for me if this was on a front door and you know i've done follow-ups on front doors to check on how the color bond the classic is it called the classic you know this the spirity base cellulose base one that dries quite quickly the one i've done the video on and the window on that that doesn't come off that doesn't come off with chipping of keys up against it. Chipping keys against it. Chipping keys, look. That is the main thing that how it's going to be coming off for scratch testing. To me, that's not great. I'm really disappointed because this was all keyed down. We cleaned it all down properly. We did it with the Scotch Bright. We used the solutions. 
and this has been in my garage for the last six weeks to cure i don't i don't know what to say i was speaking to simon at color bond because i've done something wrong but out of interest let's just go back to these let's go back to these french chic bedeck all coat exterior again on a upvc colored mahogany whatever wood grain let's go with a pound coin nope nope a little bit can i get it off and press it yeah it's coming that's why it was my number three let's go back to bed eight which was my number one pressing hard come on come on come on come on nope right the one we all laughed at i'm pressing hard come on now no and we just get anything there let's try the screwdriver right let's try another. yeah edge of the screwdriver is just pulling it off that's the sharp point of the screwdriver just getting it off right sharp point interesting bed egg. sharp point come on i'm pressing harder come on come on come on come on come on come on i can just get it that is really pressing hard yeah all coat well i didn't care for that anyway so that was my number three that came off right better let's bed it's no french chic really pressing hard on these just starting to come off but this is extreme let me just say this is extreme trying to scratch test and that was extreme pressure really impressed with that bed egg not moving an inch well you know what i mean you know what I mean? <laughs> nail no nothing that all cotex no no right let's come to this professional product color bond aquatech not even pressing hard am i this is right oh dear goes from bad to worse it's just my nail we don't even need to do a scratch test with anything sharp this is the nail i'm gonna put you back on the stand I'm lost for words really lost for words right what do i say I don't know what I seriously I don't know what to say this is the product and I will actually say this product has failed on me is it something I've done is it the UPVC is the UPVC too new did I not clean it down enough did I not scratch it enough with the scotch bright pad? I couldn't have cleaned it down any better than that. Now I'm saying to you, that was cleaned down. It was scotch bright padded and it was applied as you and me would expect to apply it. And this Colour Bond Architect comes off with my nail and that's six weeks on. So there's none of this, give it five days to cure, give it a week to cure give it a month to cure I'm putting it out there is this product not fit for purpose is the a problem with this product because I use color bond and I will say I love color bond when I'm spraying a UPVC door or windows the spirit the classic it's not on a it's not on the same league is it but this isn't matching up against somebody like French Chic, which we laugh at it, but French Chic's actually stuck really well to that piece of UPVC panel. The Bedeck, well impressed. 
The only thing with the bed deck, I don't like the finish. I'd like a little bit more of a sheen to the finish. That's a soft finish. The all coat, the Zinsa all coat, not too impressed with that one. But for that, that's not fit for purpose, is it? It might be fit for purpose for certain situations, but definitely not for this. And I've tested it on new PVC panels, like you'd be painting new PVC panels. And this, it's come off on me with my nail. So on that note, I'm gonna call it a day. I won't be using this in the future. I'll use the other colour bond, the classic, the original. Is it the original or the classic? Somebody comment, we know what it is. The original or the classic, that is a brilliant product. This, not, not so good. Proof's in the pudding. Have I done something wrong? I don't think I have. So on that note, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.